Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for this sort of weird setup. My phone is on my mirror right now on my desk. But uh, today I want to delve into a little bit of a different topic that I haven't done before. Well, I've sort of done, I just did a short on it, but I wanted to make it into a full length video because I felt like I could talk more about this subject in a full length video than I could limited to 60 seconds. I could say that correctly. <laughs> But today I want to talk to you about college, specifically studying for your classes. So studying for your classes can be kind of difficult in college because you have a lot of work on you. It is much more difficult than it is in high school. And so I want to tell you about some of the study hacks that I've adopted that have changed the game for me with my studying. So for reference, I've been on the Dean's List every quarter and I have about a 3.95 GPA, I'd say. I got like an A minus at some point, but regardless, I've been able to maintain straight A's with these two study hacks. And that's what I wanna share with you today. So if you like this kind of content, if you like watching me, I'd hope, then please drop a like on the video and hopefully subscribe to my channel. I hope I'm doing all right. This is only my second video, but without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, let's get started. So my first study hack is using this app called Notability, which can be found on the App Store. So right here, I'm showing you some of my summer class notes that I've taken, and look how pretty. I love all the features Notability has to make your notes as beautiful as possible. And sometimes I'll go back after the lecture just to make my notes even prettier. It's super easy to use, super easy to move things, and just overall a wonderful experience for note taking. But beyond that, let's go to the main draw of Notability, and that is the ability to create audio notes. So what I primarily use Notability for is recording my lectures while I'm in class so I don't have to scramble to take as many notes. And so this is really cool. I can click on any point in my notes and hear what the professor was saying at the time I took the notes. And so this is pretty early on in the lecture that is reflected in the audio being only a couple minutes in, let's go later on in the notes to say midway through. And look at that, it automatically takes us to that point in the recording as we are writing the notes, as you can see. That is probably the coolest thing about Notability. So let's go to some of the notes that I've taken prior to this. And this is another really cool thing about this app is that you can store all of your previous notes. There is so much storage. And so that is why Notability is probably my primary study hack for my classes. All right, moving on, let's cover the second study hack of this video. So as you can see, I am looking at one of my professor's study guides and it's a little overwhelming. This is all for one test including knowing these images and properly being able to label them with about a week to study. So my second study hack for tests specifically is using Quizlet. So right here, I am navigating to a Quizlet set I made specifically for this midterm. And right here, I'm showing you one of the flashcards that I've made. So in this Quizlet specifically, I've included a lot of different terms all that are covered on the midterm study guide, and I've made sure to include images for each individual term, which will help with my recollection when I'm quizzing myself and, of course, when I'm taking the actual test. And so right in here, it's super easy. You can go in and edit your Quizlet at any point. So I'm going to sort this by the original order that I made it in and show you some of the cool little graphics I made for some of those image-based questions. And so it's gonna be easier for me to quiz myself on those images so I will remember them and their individual parts on the test. And once again, here are some of the things that I have to remember for the test. So those graphics are coming super duper in handy. Alright, so going up here, something really cool about this as well is it's super easy to go back in and edit your deck at any time. You can test yourself on it, you can play games with it. Overall, it's just a wonderful experience on Quizlet's platform. 
So yeah, that is my main study tool for tests. Also, this is a free website to use, or you can buy the premium version for only $30 annually. All right, and I'd say that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. Those are the two main study hacks that I've used at Cal Poly that have helped me with my studying and ultimately with my success in my classes. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. That would be amazing. I would love to have you guys along for more videos like this. And please comment down below if you have any video suggestions you'd like me to cover, more stuff about school, unrelated. I am open to any ideas. Once again, thank you guys so much. And that's pretty much it. Bye, YouTube.